thank you so much for joining the Mellow Cello Podcast recording session on Tuesday, January 23rd, I believe. Um, still getting the hang of this whole singing and playing thing. Um, I appreciate everyone who's stuck with me through this experimentation uh, journey here. And um, we're just going to keep on doing it, seeing, uh, seeing what comes out. My um, cello does not like this cold weather that we've been having this last week, and something happened to my A string, so I didn't have time to replace it before the stream. And uh, things will sound a little different, maybe. But it's all part of the show.
everyone. Oh. Hey everyone. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank you. Man, I should wear my glasses. I can't uh I can't really read what people are saying. Awesome. Glad glad to glad, glad to see you all here. Um Let's do another one like that. That was fun. Kind of mellow. Nice and mellow. I find that just taking the mic away helps in the beginning. <laughs> Porcello did not like the cold that we have here. Thank you. 
a song I made up just now called Movie Villain Grin. It had that kind of, I don't know, um, spaghetti western chord change.
There we go.
fun that looked great thank you so much oh sorry you look gray and I need my glasses really appreciate that thank you so much I don't know why I can't see today reading reading my book too much Ooh, 2001 
the genre question has always uh, been my the the thorn in my side. Trying to anytime I try to describe what I do to somebody who hasn't heard it, I'm just sort of like, well, I play cello and I sing, and I think it sounds like it must be some weird avant-garde, you know, <laughs> unpleasant um, experimental thing. And I really am just, I mean, I'm sticking to mostly sort of very formulaic, almost pop pop song formats here and just uh, using a cello to do to do it. But you know, it's, I mean, as a result, it's more like folky. I sometimes say it's cinematic folk. That seems to give people enough pause that I don't have to fully answer the question anymore because I don't, <laughs> I never know what to say. I feel so much more comfortable today with these lyrics. I think I've, I'm, I'm, you know, I always feel like I'm searching in the dark, but I, I'm getting more comfortable with how to utilize the lyric stuff in the pedal. Um, and I think that, you know, eventually these lyrics will just kind of get recycled over and over into different <laughs> permutations of things, which hopefully is cool and not tiring. Maybe it'll be both. We'll see. Thank you. 
That's a good question. Hmm. Well, actually, funny you should ask, Citizen Fox. Um, I'm currently reading Shogun, which is amazing so far. And I was kind of thinking how that would be a good inspiration for, uh, I don't know, some sort of, like, kind of more like Momotaro outside of that sort of narrative. But the idea, I think, now is to, I feel like the, the introduction expo exposition, those are all kind of about my personal experience in some way or another. And I feel like at this point, I'm more ready to write about not me. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's a full answer, but. It crossed my mind the other day that doing something about um, some sort of epic thing like Shogun would be kind of cool. Although I still don't know how it turns out. I don't know how it ends. So don't spoil it. No spoilers if you've read it. Yeah, the show looks... I mean, I've actually been trying to avoid seeing anything about the show, but um, Catherine had bought the books from a thrift store sometime last year, and then I just kind of saw them on the bookshelf and picked, picked them up and picked the first one up, and it's crazy. I mean, it starts with this amazing shipwreck, and then... They get captured, and a high guy's head gets cut off, like, all within the first 10, 15 pages. So I was like, okay, uh, <laughs> I'm hooked. All right. Um, I think we're coming to the end here. Um, thank you all so much for coming uh, onto the stream today. And... Uh, participating with your comments. I love reading your comments. And um, thank you, Elix, so much for your generosity. Really appreciate that. Um, oh, Raphael's theme. All right, cool. Yeah, the, I mean, the book is so dense, and there's so much, like, apparently it's very historically accurate. Um, so it's a cool way to be introduced to so much stuff about the Japanese, um, you know, warring factions. Okay, I think I'll do a throwback song here. <laughs> Sure, I'm still in tune. Shifts in temperature are great for a cello. Reversing here. Oh, tipping. Um, there is some shortcut. Uh, I actually can't remember. I set it up so long ago, I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh, on my website, there is um, a little donation tab if, uh, if it's not immediately obvious within YouTube. Um, my website is takenobumusic.com. Um, tips are, of course, always appreciated. Um, and
and I love all your comments and I love that you guys are here to here to listen as I explore the the musical journey. Um, so here I'll, I'll play a, a reverse um, reversing from the album Reversal. This will be the last song, and uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out today. Wow, just me. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. That's amazing. Um, you guys are too nice. <laughs> and uh, I'll have to go back through and read all these comments. Um, and next time, probably wear my glasses because I, I can't see this far away. Um, and I'll be back on Thursday, same time, same place. Um, thank you all for hanging out with me today, and uh, we'll keep this all going. Keep the uh, keep the experimental, mellow, cello creative train chugging along. Um, hope you all have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right, bye now. Thank you so much. <laughs>